just um, I, I was just talking to um, someone about death. Uh huh. Not a happy topic, but I was talking about how much I fear my husband dying, and mm-hmm. you know I often have like anxiety about my children dying, yeah. or something awful happening to them. Yeah. And um, I said, you know, it's I was talking about because you have that fear and you don't really want to go into the pain of feeling that fear. Mm-hmm. It means that you're never really ever living life if you yeah. are so attached to the pain, uh, attached to the idea of people yeah. and not wanting to experience the pain of loss. You never really mm-hmm. fully experience love or life because of that. Yeah. So I was just talking to this person about that, and she said, "Well, it's all about attachment, mm-hmm. and that we get attached to things, and that life inherently is about impermanence. Mm-hmm. So until you can make your peace with impermanence." This is it, you know. I mean, mm-hmm. it's making the peace with the permanence, and, and how you do that is through letting go of attachment. Yeah, so. and, and and how we bec- become attached is that we project ourselves onto that that object or individual uh, that we're attached to. Like we begin to identify ourselves more and more to the point where we don't see anything else but that attachment, and. Mm-hmm. Because we we see that what would happen with me without this attachment? What would happen with me without this belief, this idea? Mm-hmm. And it gains strength to the point where it totally blinds us to everything else in life. Yeah. But the, it's a way to let go of attachment is because, uh, as I'm speaking, a little, little by little, because having the willingness to detach. Because yeah. we can't detach without that will. If we don't want to detach, we'll never detach. Yeah. But if we choose to detach and let go, We've already begun this process, and at that point, we how we detach is by letting letting our identity of our, we have with it go slowly to the point where we realize that we only attach because we said yes to it. It's only the attachment is only alive because I've said yes to that attachment. Attachment, right? And I am I am still a living being without this attachment. I'm still alive. Yeah, it's and, hard to do. I mean, just think oh, about yeah. it. Like your child, right? I mean, mm-hmm. you're attached to your child, and that's what we want as healthy adults. We want to have healthy human beings have to have some form of attachment, right? I mean, there's all this attachment well, there, parenting. There's two things to that, yes. Uh, there's what we call attachment in the form of a bond between two individuals and a, an attachment we have to our idea of that child. Mm-hmm. Because when, we're, when we have a very strong bond to the individual, to a person, we're basically allowing that relationship to be us and really let that emotion that exists between us live. Mm-hmm. When we become attached to our, our children as ideas and concepts, mm-hmm. those and concepts don't let us even see the individual that is our son or daughter. Mm-hmm. We become attached to what they're supposed to be, who they're going to be, and what we think they are, that we rarely have the ability to see them for who they really are. Mm-hmm. And you could say that there's an attachment in a form of love, but it's really called a bond. Mm-hmm. That are the, the mutual love we have for one another. And then there's the attachment to the idea of what our son or daughter is. Right. And that, that's the conflict right there. Right. One it, which is healthy because you want a bond. Mm-hmm. But one which is unhealthy is less helpful because you don't really see the person. You see them for the the idea that that person is supposed to bring to you. Like my husband, it's like, well, you know, you're, someone said to, and when we were talking about death, I thought she brought a really good point up. She said, you know, why you care about so much about your partner is because they're your witness that you're even here on earth and that you're alive and that you're a thriving living being. And if that person is gone, your idea of having a witness and you're mm-hmm. using your parlance is gone. Yeah. So, Letting go of that attachment is probably help, healthy, right? Yeah, because sometimes we become attached to, uh, say, for, in my case, my wife. And what does my relationship with my wife say about me? And yes. Some, yeah. And sometimes we get so attached to that that we forget that we're even in a relationship with an individual. Yeah. You know, uh, as the thing about and being in a relationship with anyone, whether it's death or just a simple separation, is that we come together because we've decided to say yes to one another. We're, this relationship only exists because we said yes. Right. When death comes and takes our beloved away, it takes away the individual who said yes to us. Mm-hmm. And sometimes 
what's hard is one we're combining our unique and honest mourning because we love that person and that person is no longer with us but what confuses and complicates this is the attachment we have to the idea that what that relationship was to us mm. and mm. what am I going to do without that Mm-hmm. And that's when it becomes selfish. Yeah. It's like instead of honoring and celebrating the time we had together, we begin to mourn life without that person because right. there's a part of me that's gone. Yeah. Oh. It's really true, isn't it? Because a part, see, it's it's a very it's a it's a very interesting thing because they're so intertwined. Because in order to have that bond, you have to give a person part of yourself, a real deep part of yourself to another human being, you know what I mean? And so then when that person is dead, that part of you is gone. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's it's a real thing. It is a real thing that that person dying would have a part of you die too. It's a very, you know, it's a very complex idea, I think, but an interesting one because I think if you don't, if you don't really make your peace with death, I, I really honestly think you don't ever truly live. Well, yeah, because we're always so afraid. Because we're so, uh, it, it affects our, our even our ability to say hello. Yeah. We're so afraid to say goodbye. That we're so afraid to say hello because we don't want to say goodbye to that person too. Yeah. Stops us completely. Yeah. Okay. That